This is Get Ready for the Front page. Get this for free at otfi.com slash front. Get ready for the front page. <laughs> Are you ready for the front page? <laughs> oh, my face is joke. We're not measuring 9-11 anymore. Because we're going to be walked by thousands. So Brian does shut his mouth and just is not going to mention the trail of tears. Good night attacks on the front page this year. <laughs> Man, I gotta tell you, we're just made for this. We're just gonna, we're just gonna clear it up. Super duper! Hello, you beautiful denizens of the internet, you gorgeous demon hordes, you sweet, sweet people of chat realm. It's Tuesday night, and that means it is time for us to set fire to the internet. Hello, I'm Brian Brushwood, live in Austin, Texas. Joined, as always, by my BFF and OAK, it's J-R-Y, just Robert Young. Happy Halloween, buddy. Panda, panda. Panda, 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 panda. Oh, my God, Brian. It's Halloween. Yeah. Halloween, my friend. Do, uh, uh yeah, yeah. how is it on, on the moon? Do space children knock on your doors in the hive colony and request uh, credits? <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I mean, I live in a neighborhood like a normal person. You live on the West Coast in a space colony. <laughs> Is this the most elaborate white people be doing it like this joke ever? I mean, I'm just saying, in Texas, we're in God's America, and we and we open the door to to scallywags and scoundrels and give them candy. Uh, what do you do? Wait a minute. So the, the actual question is, how do you handle trick-or-treaters <laughs> in an apartment? Actually, actually here's, yeah, get, oh, okay, fine, cut to he the chase. He was not making an a, a, like, like, like apartment thing. He was making a West Coast No, 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 no. It, it was an apartment thing. Uh. It, it, it was. I was also trying to, to sprinkle a little, like, MSG, a little bit of, of, of a uh, little to America's movement. sauce. Moon dust on top. <laughs> yes, exactly. A little bit of us and them to go with it. Like, uh, uh, in your complex, do, does anybody knock on the door and show up and be adorable? Like, here, here's what I really want to know. Do yeah. you feel an impending dread to buy insurance candy? Because you don't want to be that guy that opens uh, the door. We, we, we have not bought insurance candy. So if anybody what? comes to the uh, to the house. In fact, I was thinking about uh, inviting. Uh, uh, this is, I guess, her second or, or first Halloween. Uh, but uh, Brett's little daughter, yeah. Scarlett, to come over. Because Brett's going to bring her out trick-or-treating, which is basically just Brett. Scamming free candy, like uh, <laughs> classic Amtrekker. You know, like, you don't just, get across America without calories. He's just like, he's like, he's like, oh, like I'm so proud as a father to like take my daughter out on her first trick or treating thing. It's like, dude, you just want candy. Like you're literally just, you're not gonna give this child uh, the candy. You're gonna eat all the candy. Uh, his wife's not gonna eat the candy. She's an ultra marathon runner. There's one man who's gonna <laughs> eat all that candy, and it's Brett. And ironically, the only time she will want the candy is while she's running an ultra marathon on mile 78. That's when the Snickers come out. Although maybe that's it. He's like stocking up, so he'll know he'll have a fun size three musketeers to toss her in her moment of knee. That makes sense. Uh, hey, did you uh, did you stay up? I guess for you, it wasn't waking up in the middle of the night. It was just staying up slightly late to be part of the ex going to give it to you extravaganza. What? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I was. I was. I was up. I was playing DMX oh. the entire time. I was uh, uh, ready for it uh, until I wasn't. I I got I got. I got screwed. <gasps> oh no! Did. Are you a normie? Number one, number one, everybody, and I, I was on a tech podcast, okay, where it was like, the best way to get the phone is to go on the app, have your phone ready, have the app ready, favorite everything that you want, so it is just, and then uh, text the link to yourself. And so you are just going to click the link in your text message. It'll go right to the page and you'll be able to buy it immediately. The app's the way to go. The app's the way to go. The app's the way to go. That is the voice I keep hearing in my head. So I did go to sleep. I, I slept for like an hour and then I, uh, I had a, an alarm set. So I was ready to go. The store was taken down. I was hoping everybody, all I heard, by the way, for the previous month and a half, nah, I don't want the X, too expensive. I don't want the X, the eight's fine. I don't want the X, the seven plus is okay. 
So I'm like, I, this should be a breeze. Nobody wants it. Too expensive. Fine and dandy. Let me walk through, buy this thing, go right back to sleep. In my head, I'm back in dreamland by 1230. Well, and, and why wouldn't you be? It sounds like you've got it all figured out. And certainly historically, uh, the app has always been the way to do it. Um, but the mere fact that you're setting all this up <laughs> leads me to believe. Are you saying that there's a story here, Brian? I, I, I'm, I'm tempted to think things did not go according to plan. Let's listen. <laughs> this is our new podcast. Brian and Bryce judge Justin's stories uh, live. Do, 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 do. Oh, you're gonna brody him? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! You got a copyright free brody, just I did. I did. I get the app. All right. So all of a sudden, I'm like, okay, uh, uh, uh midnight, the witching hour. Uh, I'm, I'm hitting the phone. I'm hitting the phone. I'm hitting the phone. <laughs> so you, wo- you woke up and you, and you immediately thought. The midnight hour is close at hand. <laughs> <laughs> a witch's brew in both my hands. Oh, choice. <laughs> so uh, I'm like, phone, 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 phone. Nothing, 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 nothing. And I'm, I'm also like switching back and forth between Twitter to be like, and everyone's like, book, book, book. You can't get the thing. Can't get the thing. It's not open yet. And then I see somebody got it. And I'm like, oh, you've mothered. You motherfucker. All right. All right. So wait, I go grab wait. my computer and I open up my computer and I'm going on my computer to, to the Apple store to be ready uh, to try to buy it that way on the desktop, not the app. I get all the way. It's actually working. Uh, it's slow as shit, but because it's getting hammered. But I'm like, oh, making my way, making my way. Uh, uh, do, am I eligible to get it? Uh, what provider are you? AT&T, yada, yada, yada. God knows why you can't do this shit before. Like, I, can I just do this shit six months ago in preparation so I only have to make a financial transaction? No. Then I finally get to the purchase button. At which point, it is the fucking loose, blue balled nut of AT&T saying, your bill's past due. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Holy shit. Oh. Oh, oh my fucking oh. god. Oh. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Justin. Buckle in. Buckle in. <laughs> so, Brian, how was your experience getting an iPhone 10? Uh, well, I'll tell you what. I heard that prehistorically <laughs> the app was the way to go. <laughs> But not trusting history. Past performance is no indication of future results. Being a skeptic, a learned That's right. skeptic. Uh, I went to I went to bed early that night. Set my alarm. Fifteen minutes beforehand, woke up and I was like, "Why am I awake? Oh wait, that's right, the phone." And I meander on over and I sit down and I open up the website and I open up the app and then uh, I'm waiting. And it's like, well, they might do it early. So it's starting at around one fifty five. A.M. in the middle of the night, I do the refresh, 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 yeah. refresh, refresh game. <clears throat> and then, uh, lo and behold, the app was garbage and the desktop let me in. And yeah. I said, well, this will be easy. Bonnie said she wanted to see mine first, so I'll just buy the one. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to not do any plans, no subsidy, whatever. And it's like, well, you want to do whatever? And then uh, I hit buy. And then I see... The blue balls of AT and T. Oh my God! <laughs> Between the two of us, we got both balls. <laughs> <laughs> and so I realized I was just, and I realized like, why is this happening? And I realized, oh, we finally went to auto pay, but we canceled our credit card and changed credit cards, and it didn't oh. send the the update notifications like it does. This has been my. This thing, the fucking auto pay, it keeps breaking. It works for one month and then it breaks. And I don't know that it is breaking until after it has broke. So I think, like, I have auto pay. If you, when I went to my page to pay my bill, it was like, hey, you have auto pay. Why are you here? Also, your bill's past due. And I'm just like, <laughs> pay the bill. And it's like, cool, dude. And then it pays the bill. Oh. And I was able to get in there wait, and, wait, wait. and get the phone, but I right, go. Uh, well, so you paid online. I immediately called AT&T uh, ah. I, I, and, and went uh, I, a star PMB to pay my bill. And then it's just like, you definitely owe us $607. Holy <laughs> shit. That's a lot. 
<laughs> and I was just like, why would you not tell me this? And it was like, do you want to pay it? Just press one. <laughs> and then, the, and it was like, yeah, your credit card. It's not making sense. And so the credit card's out because I don't have the new credit card number memorized. And I'm, I'm beep, bop, beep. And, and then I pay the bill. So all of this happens. Like, it feels like a goddamned eternity that I'm just like, well, the whole world's passed me by. But this is before we knew what a tight sales window it was going to be. So yeah. I'm like, I'm not super worried about it. And as a result, when it goes through... Uh, mainly I'm like, oh God, how long is it going to take AT&T to fucking update their system and yeah. so that so that Apple can know that I'm in good standing so I can ple- pretty please give you all my money for the phone. I mean, let's yeah. let's just be clear. You really were in poor standing. <laughs> <laughs> just stop my fault. I signed up for the auto pay. I signed up for auto pay and they should have told me. They should have told me if there was a problem. Again, again, they when probably I went to, this, to the app, it's like, you have auto pay. Get out of here. We're handling it. You owe us three hundred dollars. <laughs> like it was, it was the weirdest thing. And so, when I first got there and was going through the process, I still had the November third window. Like that was the expected delivery date when I began the process. And then by the time I got out of the dark side of the moon of AT and T, I had the. November uh, 17th to the 24th window or whatever. So So I I lost (laughs) two fucking weeks because of AT&T's shitty auto pay that broke. Man, I I cannot believe that neither of us has already shared this story with the other (laughs) because we both had a strikingly similar situations with one difference. Oh, you got the November 3rd, didn't you? (laughs) Dirty Patreon.com slash Night Attack. That's the best way for you to support this show. Oh my God. <laughs> if you enjoy our shenanigans, our tomfoolery, all of the, the hilarity we try to bring you every week on a Tuesday night, uh, you can give us a little bit of cash over at twitch.tv slash Night Attack. In fact, you can steal it right out of um, uh, Elon Musk's pocket. Uh, we'll oh, say. it's Elon Musk now. What? Yeah, well, I mean, it's, it's you know, look, you're going to steal it from Jeff Bezos, and we know where he's going to make up the difference, it's right? saying Jeff Bezos is stealing from Elon Musk? <laughs> okay, look, I would never say that on Jeff Bezos' network, Amazon.com. The last thing I would do is publicly accuse... Jeff yeah. Bezos, owner of Twitch.tv, of yeah. stealing money from Elon okay. Musk. That would be wildly irresponsible. Oh. I wouldn't be able to do it with my gigantic arms. I can't <laughs> reach into that immigrant's pocket. Jeff Bezos, I told you, this is our show. Now I punch him right into space. I'm so, like, get me on that windmill. I'm going to break another bottle of champagne. I'm Jeff Bezos. <laughs> <laughs> so don't forget that you get a free subscription. Subscri- subscription. Is that what we should sell as subscriptions? <laughs> you get a free Twitch Prime subscription. <laughs> subscribe. Why? To give it to us at twitch.tv slash night attack. Uh, yes. Uh, or, uh, or head on over to patreon.com slash night attack so hey. that you can participate yeah. in our weekly thing we do called. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the night attack new Patreon name chant corner hour. Oh man, this is too good. This is too delicious. Let's get my new favorite name. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> no guesses. What okay. what exercise machine is he on? <clears throat> uh, no, uh, uh, he's 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 he's, he's, he's on that water he rowing is machine. Tying down. No what? A kidnapper. Right. What? Oh, wow, a oh hero. Yeah, yeah, he's he tying him down, and he's about to find out where the rich man's daughter is. Tell me now. Exactly. Uh, like, and, a, uh, like, a, like a Jack Bauer type. Yeah, and uh, that's happening, but he's busy working, uh, it, listening. He's, he's at work, like many of us. Yes, he has a more interesting job, but he's listening and getting a lot of giggles out of our comedy. And I just want to say, before he electrocutes uh, both the AT&T testicles, uh, thank you, Tomislav Jovanovic. Tomislav Jovanovic. Tomislav Jovanovic. 
Thomas loved Jovanovic. Thomas loved Jovanovic. Thomas loved Jovanovic. Thomas loved Jovanovic. I would. What's funny is I'm spending this whole time thinking. I've, I've so created this scenario that I'm like, oh, I hope. He has it in his earbuds and not on the speaker because then the client uh, or the subject yeah. will know because then the subject his don't name. He might right. spell out Thomas, Thomas Love. Love. Well, and now he'll have Jovan to kill the, the yeah. See, yeah. yeah, no, I would hate to think that yeah. we, ooh, 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 how spooky on this Halloween we condemned a kidnapper to murder. Wait, have wait, you heard wait, the no. legend of Thomas Love Jovanovic? Oh, but they Thomas say. Love was the hero. He went the... Well, yeah, the but kidnapper. now we set his name in front of the now victim. Now he has to be a murderer. Bobby. And he has to stop interrogating and start uh, ooh, shaving his beard. <laughs> also, by the way, I love that Brian's costume is your col- your college girlfriend's next boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> a townie. <laughs> That's all I am. <laughs> Local. It's just, yeah, it's just like, like, oh, my God, no motherfucker. He's got fucking huge hair and a beard. And <laughs> Ah. Huge hair. To go to her poetry recitals, like this motherfucker. What what is that? Uh, uh, what was the name of that show? Um, Andy Samberg is in a Netflix original that is shot in Australia, and uh, he is so delightfully insufferable as he announces uh, to this girl that uh, uh, he married their daughter. Oh my God! Wait, no. Uh, uh, by the way, Sunbun, thank you for the uh, sub. We're going full cam girl mode while I talk about this. Uh, fuck, I can't remember the name, but he was only in it for one season, and then thank you, uh, Funkarius. He, he was he was replaced by uh, uh, Thomas Lautner, the uh, uh, or, or, or Jacob Lautner, whatever the, the wolf, the wolf Wait, boy. They, uh, of, hold on, I'm playing the same camera. Yes. Thank you, Coaster Rage. Thank uh, you, Coaster Rage. You're so cute. Did did, um, <laughs> hold on, did wait? They they swapped out Darren's. And I ran into a dude who is acting in it. I see you. Thank you so much. Thank oh, you I see you. I love your bits. I see you. No, it was the dude, the, the gap year guy uh, uh, is in that show. Uh, 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 that uh, Deadly talking, Chicken 128. Damn. Thank you. Mwah. Mwah. Uh, uh, no, I, so I wound up watching a couple episodes. It was great. It was really funny. It, it's like a, an awesome premise of this girl uh, goes off to college and then like winds up dropping out because she's going to marry this like total weird hippie dude. I only want to like, marry Max Power 683. Thank you. A hundred times so over. Much. Cheers. You're so, cute. You're so cute. Thank you. Uh, but yeah. Oh, my God. No, I fuck. I, I wish I remember his name now. I was actually just talking to him on Twitter today. Hmm. Fuck. All right. Well, this this is fucking ruined by everything. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> uh, ooh. Thank you, Funkarius. Times a thousand. Ooh, is he the new leader? Do we have a leader? Uh, uh, we could see. Oh, you know, I think. Trick I... question. We don't have leaders no in leaders. chat realm. We're, that's, we're, we're demon hordes. <laughs> oh, Matt Lacey. That's it. Matt Lacey. Matt Lacey. There you go, everybody. It was Matt I Lacey. Think it's cuckoo. Lacey. Oh, that's who it is, Cuckoo. Uh, yeah. Yes, it is Cuckoo. cuckoo. Yeah. Yes. So, I yeah, hated the guy. Like, I think the brother. Oh, man, yeah. thanks, yeah. Jive Damien. Mm. Hey, thank you, Jive. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, yeah. y'all didn't y'all didn't think me when I subscribed. Well, you only followed. Thank yeah, you, you Auntie you Arf. Oh. You didn't even subscribe. I can't what is, believe it. Wait, thank you, Cattle Humper. I, subscribe. I don't. I don't think you can subscribe since the account is linked to uh, the same account that you would subscribe from. <laughs> I don't think you can subscribe to you. It's our me. Own. No, she's not. No, she's got a separate. Cattle Humper, it's, thank you. Oh, oh, but, thank but you're you, not dude. Prime. Like uh, oh, I guess you could pay money. No, 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 I don't. I, yeah, no, 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 I also I don't you. know that you can subscribe in the mobile app just yet. Mm. Uh, Thank you, Drek. This was a good learning moment. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So anyway, over, over three bills. Thank you, everybody. Got an iPhone X. That's the moral of the story. So you're, so you're getting it on on the third, huh? Yeah, um, I was really surprised. I was surprised too that uh, that despite you know it felt like an eternity, and I was like, oh, I guess they're not. I guess they had more than we expected, but. No, not so much. Then the next day, it's just like literally nobody on the planet got an iPhone X. If you got one, you are uh, uh, the new Jeff Bezos. By the way, I love all the videos today of all the uh, uh, tech companies that got it early uh, and did their twin tests. There were like a bunch of like twin test videos for uh, for the facial unlock stuff. 
Uh, oh, that's right. Uh, and various, uh, it seemed like the younger they were, the more likely you could get a twin to unlock the phone. Yeah. But the guess- older, like, apparently, apparently that's no joke. Like, the, 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 and it works better in the dark than it does in bright. Yeah, it works better than in the sun because the sun has a lot of infrared. Infrared. I believe. Mm. Infrared, uh, you any, say. No, I mean, <laughs> Curtis Rock says, so next week's going to be iPhone uh, uh, X heavy. No, it's not, because I won't have one, and I will not have that. <laughs> I will not have. Oh, really? IPhone. And and this is your logic, thinking that means there'll be less iPhone X <laughs> because no, you not. don't have it. All right. Nope. All right. Fine. <laughs> Or I'm just going to lie. I'm just going to be like, oh, no, that's great. Have you seen the screen? It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, let me lock up. Oh, look, it's unlocked. <laughs> There's the double pulse of AT&T. Your bill is past due. <laughs> I did Suck that. these globes. Who put that together? Space NML. Thank you, Space. <laughs> that was fast. Uh, All right. Well, thank you to everybody who has uh, subbed. Uh, uh, maybe we'll do a, a little uh, a read through in the after show. But Bryce, what are we doing today? We got a, a a high stakes round of Chat Realms Choice. You guys remember Chat Realms Choice, right? Wait, uh, Chat Realms Choice is is that the one where we are trying to figure out they're given a binary A B thing, and we have to guess which they would choose, like blank or blank. Right. Which, okay. Which one they would uh, uh, more more of Chat Realm. Said that they preferred or so. Chose. So this okay. So okay. So here's what's in- interesting. Like Family Feud rules is you have to think of what the populace in general, or and at you least have to think of a lot of answers. Yeah, yeah. Or or, or out of a hundred normies at a mall, what would they say? Sure. But this these are our own but children. Is, uh, we got 143 responses hey. so far. That's a pretty good. Uh, yeah. So so how good, well? So this is closer to the newlywed game, <laughs> where we have to guess <laughs> what what <laughs> what our team yeah. says. Yeah. Uh, but I feel like we need some steaks on this. Um, like literal steaks? Is anybody eating steaks? We used to like send each other steaks. Sometimes. Yeah, no, we ruined, we crashed the steak economy <laughs> when so yeah. many people were right, using yeah. fake steak payments. <laughs> yeah, we we used to send each other steaks is a fun way of saying I used to buy steaks for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Doctor Arp says we should that uh, uh, we shave should the shave beard. the beard. Man, I already got I already got my photos taken. Yeah, bro, Justin doesn't. I mean, and I anymore. I have already publicly you said said I don't I'm want ready the beard. to go. Although, man, my favorite part of the beard oh. is is having um finger armpits. Mm-hmm. Like you just reach in and oh, we can fin- buy you one of those armpits. hats that are like a beard hat. Mm. We can just buy you a beard hat. Maybe that'll give you. So a wait, hold on, wait. Are we? Is this a bit or or, or is this gonna happen? Are we doing beards? Are we are we racing for pinks here? <laughs> I'll, I'll, yeah, no, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. Uh, no, fuck you. Fuck you. You're not going to do it. Stop it. Well, okay. The only thing on my beard bucket list, which is a real thing <laughs> that I have not gotten to do was spike the beard. Everyone was asking me to spike the beard. And so I was thinking I, I should get a, a photo of that. Um, Do but, you need me to go get some wax for you? Well, hold, uh, apparently hold not. On. Apparently my beard yeah, balm. Uh, uh, let me let me oh. see if I can get uh, a comment from my wife to see whether or not uh, a, a beard shaving is is. Uh, uh, but you know what? Uh, 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 and she says, "Heck no, don't shave." All me. of my all of my beard balm will be worthless, like my oh. like my old pomade from a Spike Tears day. <laughs> oh my god, we've got like <laughs> I mean you drawers get, full of this. You'll have a you can. I got to be able to do this again. Oh, <laughs> oh, the entirety of the ocean. Hello, we forgot about you. <laughs> It's just me, the entirety of the ocean. This is a really esoteric character, jeez. Uh, I am all the crustaceans, all the jellyfish, all the garbage the size of Texas. You're the life force of objects in the ocean, too. No, that's a different guy. I'm only the ocean. Wait, there's another guy that's both you and all the objects? No, you're talking about guy who is all the living things in the ocean. I'm just all of the ocean. Okay, he lives so in time. So it means he's, he's inside, inside of you. Uh, uh, Super well, duper. <laughs> Free show, kids. Uh, so my wife is here. Uh, we. This has escalated very quickly. <laughs> What did you do? Uh, I just 
I just put on on the record that uh, we're gonna play a random game, and whoever loses has to shave their beard tonight. No. <laughs> She was not a fan of whiskers. I thought, I thought that. So too. I thought she was not happy with it. All the beard tonight. If I lose, but you have confidence in me, so I'm not going to lose. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the thing. One of you will walk away from this. Oh when, yeah, one beard will stay. When, when, the and how? Beard. When did and how did you turn Ashley on the um, on the beard? Like now she likes it. What's going on? Yep. So here's here's what the thing is, Bonnie. I like the beard if it's groomed, uh, which it has been as of late. So none of that unruly wizard <laughs> living so, in your mom's basement. As, uh, as, as my co-host on The Modern Rogue's Wife calls it, the hobo rape thicket. Is what? Oh. <laughs> At some point it gets unruly and just becomes terrifying. Right? Why do they have to throw the rape word in there? Because it's, like... it's a thicket. What else are you going to do with it? Anyway. <laughs> Yeah, wow. man. It's not called the hobo making out with the hobo thicket. <laughs> this is the all ra- irony. Anyway. <laughs> what uh, about the Br'er Rabbit in the thicket? Because, like, Br'er Rabbit oh is hanging No, the th- that's bestiality. You're messing it all oh up. It's God. getting really you weird. You can leave the right. rape out of it. It doesn't have to. All right. <laughs> so, so just so you know, Ash, this is, this is happening. I might have to shave the beard tonight. I don't approve of it. You're in the doghouse if you lose, so. Okay, well, so we are in a fight. Are you saying that we are officially in a fight if I lose this? Yes. <laughs> oh, shit. Just fight, 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 fight. This is the high stakes game. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Can, I, can I do this? All right, can I, can I take it one step farther? If, 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 if we're really playing the game. Okay. Each round, we name a piece of the beard. <laughs> <laughs> and no, we, we can't play. Like strip no. for the <laughs> That's not a good because then you both are gonna end up with shitty beards. Oh my god! No, Part of me wants to do it no, just for that. No. Come on. <laughs> you don't have to. You don't have to trim it all the way down. We'll just use beard trimmers and we'll just make it real short. No. Either We're, all in or all out. All right. We play in the game. Winner keeps the beard. That's it. <laughs> all right. Bye. All right. So we uh, we 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 asked 144 now. Chat realmers. Uh, their choice. By the way, by the way, I just want to let you know, Ashley is is staying here. She's now, <laughs> she's like, oh, I'm she, able to bring uh, her in. I'm like two seconds. Now she is here can, for. Can this. I can I guess how she looks? <laughs> it's actually it's more withering. <laughs> 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 She's also holding the mic kind of outwardly to me, as if to say, "You have made me do this." And now... <laughs> <laughs> All right, one of us will uh, have a beard, the other will be in the doghouse. Yeah, yeah. All right, so your first chat realm's choice. We'll start with you, Brian. Hmm. Trick. Trick. Oh, shoot, I saw that. Go on. Trick or treat? Oh, trick. We are not friends, chat realm, if, uh, if you guys aren't tricksters like I think you are. All right, Brian says trick. Justin, trick or treat? I mean, one is good, right? Like, one is good and one is bad, and Brian has picked the bad one. But I think I'm going to agree with him. I, I think I think that this is a trick, yeah. You both are going to say trick. Gentlemen, your answer of trick is... Oh, oh they love the treat! Because they're good at heart. Look at that. 52.8% said treat. Oh. That's a, do, you, do you know what that looks like in, in the world of Dungeons and Dragons? They call that uh, chaotic good. <laughs> Where it's like, <laughs> you're good, just barely. <laughs> uh, wait, let me just say, the Sunman, they both pick the same answers, neither can lose. If we're tied, we both shit. Yeah. Oh. Oh. This is okay. high stakes. All right. This is All right. That's good. That's good. Someone's right. getting shaved tonight. All right, Justin, we're starting with you. Let's go. Come on. All Hallows' Eve or All Saints' Eve? I will bet we'll start with Justin. the Hitler on this one. We're not playing uh, strip beers. No. Oh, damn, damn. I, I just, it would have been, been a great bit. <laughs> would have been a great no, bit. You're ruining, you're ruining a beard. The point is you had to keep a beautiful beard. What if he wants to win? <laughs> All, All right, Hallows' wait, wait, Eve. Say it again. All Hallows' Eve or All Saints' Eve? 
Hallows. Justice is Hallows. Yeah, I think this is going to be a similar split, but instead of edging towards uh, Treat the way they did, I think just Hallows, All Hallows Eve, is so much more dope a name than uh, All Saints Eve. So I'm going to say, I'm going to say Hallows. You both have said All Hallows Eve. Plus, uh, 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 Harry Potter went to the Deathly Hallows, so that oh, that, that will skew as well. Well, both of you are. Okay, yeah, but another reason that I think uh, Hallows. No, never mind. Uh, by an 86.9%. Hollow Man. It showed his dick. <laughs> <laughs> Hollow Man did show his dick. That was really weird. That was in like his I need to show my dick in every movie phase. Like he had like three <laughs> fucking movies in a row, which is like, listen, I got a hell of a dick, guys. So if you want to show this thing <laughs> off, like. What? <laughs> Who? Kevin Bacon. He they did? Used to, yeah, no, he used to be into that fat back showing off his, his, his bacon strip. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, that's one. All right, it's Wild bacon Things. Strip. Name all the movies where Kevin Bacon shows his dick. Oh wild God. Things. Dude, Dude, there's a scene in Wild Things where he just turns around and like he's got a fucking elephant trunk. This guy is yeah. like is like working with it. Is it the same in each or did he have a double? Um I mean, he didn't have two dicks, if that's what you're asking. <laughs> no, I think she's asking if he had a, a dick double. A, a, a dick stunt double. Dick. He might have had a stunt maybe. dick. A I don't know. I stopped, I stopped caring about like celebrity news. Movies. So maybe that's improving that he didn't have a dick double. Uh, like, I, I, I sort of have drawn off, uh, dr uh, drawn off, uh, jumped off the mat, fallen off the... Okay. Celebrity nudes mean nothing to me in a post-Game of Thrones uh, Cersei Lannister stunt double thing. Like, I was like, I was like, well, what's the point now? If you're just gonna make her look perfect, dang. That wasn't really her. No, it wasn't. It was her uh. face on someone neutrally pansexually mm. attractive. Pansexually attractive. Pansexually attractive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's that like that, uh, that that Lee Jeans uh, uh, commercial with the butts, where they they somehow made the butts all non-sexual as they flex their butt cheeks to talk to each other. I remember. Yeah, you we remember? That remember? In the after show. Yeah, we, yeah. It's a patreon.com slash night attack yeah. people. <laughs> All right, we got another round here. Brian, we're going to start with you. I want you to tell me did Chat Realm choose Snickers or Milky Way? Snickers or Milky Way? Can I just say Milky Way? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Apparently not. <laughs> well, no. Apparently, if your goal was to say the name of a candy without giggling like a kid and the fact that it sounds like a cum joke, then no, you couldn't, apparently. The Milky Way. <laughs> hey, hey, man, there's only two ways I'm going to get this information out of you. The easy way or the Milky, the Milky Way. way. <laughs> That's, that's, our, that's our donor beating the guy up. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Snickers. <laughs> All right. Milky Way is just such a garbage candy. I mean, I want to go against Brian, but I can't help it. Like that, that's a that's a Snickers all day, right? <laughs> is that the your easy final way answer? Or... Yeah, it is. Yeah. All right. Uh, both of you had said. Snickers and both of you are correct. <laughs> All right, uh, sixty-three okay. to thirty-seven percent. Chat realm picked Snickers. Oh, wait, yeah, which by the way, uh, 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 firmly in camp Milky Way. Like, uh, in fact, actually, both are garbage because they're both made in the same factory and they both touch peanuts. And then once you touch peanuts, might as well suck on these nuts. Uh, uh, okay, well, thank you for bringing That's... your problems into the rest of the world. Uh, <laughs> Let's talk about your problems, though. What? Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. You, sorry, uh, you are going along with Brian intentionally now because I'm sitting here seething. <laughs> <laughs> you do know that I need to win, right? Like, putting pressure on me does not make me more likely to win. We'll see. We'll see. Wait, is anybody ahead right now? No, they're all tied up. Mm. Was this is round Tied three. Up like plenty these of long locks <laughs> of my beard. Of his beard is what he's talking I about. I grow hair fast, though. <laughs> you see, Brian's making more of a sacrifice. This took him a year. <laughs> it did. Yeah, but he wants it gone. <laughs> it really took him like all year. <laughs> oh my god. 
All right, here we go. Oh, gentlemen, we're gonna start with Justin. Did Chat Realm choose a black cat or a hellhound? Okay, who did this? Like, like, did they pick an awesome thing or a pile of poop? <laughs> 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 no comment. Give me your answer. <laughs> a hellhound or a black cat? Yeah. Oh my god. Talk it out. Talk it out. Uh, I mean, all right. So uh, 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 a hellhound obviously it sounds fucking awesome. It, it is a dog versus cat thing, so maybe there's so maybe there's a little bit more layers to it in the than audience. You mm -hmm. But I mean, hellhounds metal is, is shit. Like it's awesome. But you want to know what? Black Cat is more iconic. I'm talking myself uh, into Black Cat here. In fact, you want to know what? I'm, I'm going to go. I'm going to go Black Cat. Go Black oh, Cat. dude. You're going to fall behind on this one. <clears throat> because the demon hordes of the internet only love one creature, and that's got to be the Hellhound. <laughs> that's it? That they're well known for loving the Hellhound? Yeah. No, of course. Absolutely. And, and get the dogs pumped. Pump, 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 pump. Like, like in, in the Discord, it's just like, man, hellhounds are great, right? And like <laughs> hellhound fan fiction. And it's, hellhound, it's not like that, uh, not like that uh, video uh, had servers in it. <laughs> it was just real dogs. I, I just want to picture like redoing that video with, with uh, 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 Dave Grohl as Satan. And he's just like, I'm talking to all the hellhounds out there. Cerberus, <laughs> Sasha. <laughs> the <Minotaur. Kepler. laughs> All right, we in our first different answers round of the game. Brian Brushwood, your answer of Hellhound is. I know. No. Sixty to forty percent preferred black cat. Why would you prefer black cats? Black cats are done. They're, 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 they're so bad that they give you twelve free for every one you bother to buy. <laughs> like, that's how bad black cats are. They're cute. Eat my pussy. What? Eat my pussy. What? Black cat wins. Eat my pussy. What? Hey, Justin, just, we're about to be on the front page of Twitch. You can't. You can't go. You can't go saying that kind of stuff on the Twitch. It's pussy cat. <laughs> okay, all right. All right. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Do we have to be like super clean? I mean, I no, assume but... the first four letters are just like the network we left. <laughs> so uh, I, I assume the, first... the same rules apply. Oh, what are we going to do, Brian? <laughs> That Who is that? Who is that character? <laughs> is that Brian's new second, second <laughs> lover? I just invented a new character. He's a lovable but dim-witted part of the robber gang. <laughs> <laughs> the, I don't know, Brian. Are we about to cuss? <laughs> no one here. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. How did the administrators right. are watching? New rule. Bonnie gets to make all the choices she wants on my behalf, but she has to do it in that voice. No, no. <laughs> You're gonna you're gonna sink or swim on your own. <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> All right. We're gonna start with Brian on this one. You're you're falling behind. I know. I know. You're falling behind. Tell me, did Chat Realm choose Jack O' Lantern or Jack Skellington? Jack O' Lantern is gonna be universally beloved. Because we can all think of good jack-o'-lanterns, and I can't think of any jack-o'-lantern that I've ever seen that I'm just like, well, eat shit, jack-o'-lantern. <laughs> you <laughs> shitty fucking, you disgrace. But there are people who think that about Jack Skellington and Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas. Mm. And and really, I just want to point out, you're bagging on Danny Elfman, lead singer of Boingo Boingo, and writer of many beloved uh, instrumentals. Uh <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna say I'm gonna say because of the polarizing nature of the Nightmare Before Christmas, I'm gonna say more people would like Jack O' Lanterns than Jack Skellington, if for no other reason than just for brand awareness. I am going to say that it is Jack O' Lantern. You're both gonna say Jack O' Lantern. Motherfucker, hold on, hold on, wait, wait, whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. Is this your strategy? You're just gonna, you're just gonna, you're just gonna always pick. Uh, you always gonna stay one step ahead. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I, I'm not. I'm not Brian Brushwood. I will not. <laughs> win, 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 win. I'm picking what I really believe. You know, we were, I win. 
We were watching an old NSFW show episode on the rewind that we do on the weekends here on Twitch, and uh, it was the very it was one of the very first episodes of Night of NSFW, and uh, y'all were playing a game similar to this. And Brian, I just remember you making this really impassioned thing like, "Don't you game theory this? You got to play it for real." <laughs> and then I immediately turned around and game theoried it a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds right. All right, gentlemen, both of your answers of Jack O' Lantern are. What's what's that, Justin? Jack Skellington. Wait, so we were right? Oh, oh I'm sorry. No, you're right. Oh, um, fuck, I fucked that up. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. You pick the same thing. <laughs> Steve Harvey, ladies and gentlemen, still a great show. <laughs> Oh, a great show. Been a great night. Oh, Been a great night. Oh, sorry about that, everybody. Oh, damn. 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 All right, here we go. Here we go. I got one for you. Yeah, like we're both just stroking our beards. I mean, because we know it might be. It's, I, it's, like, it's like, it, like if you know you're about to go to the electric chair, you just pawn your girl and you don't care who's watching because oh, this is man. it. I don't give. I mean, like, like, this is the last moment I can have this. Mm. Finger armpits. Oh my gosh. All right, Justin, we're starting with you. <laughs> the wave of the future. <laughs> Soon everybody will wear finger armpits on their face. Are they stylish? Is that why? <laughs> Not only are they stylish, they keep you warm. <laughs> Look at Susie. All the fashion designer in, in Gay Paris have been showing off their finger armpits. <laughs> By the way, this is this is the moment that your ex uh, girlfriend from college texts you back. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, my beard is long enough <laughs> that it, I did do the spikes. Uh, yeah, you left. There's no reason for me to keep it now. <laughs> oh damn it! Oh no! All right, Justin, we're starting with you. Yeah. When it comes to the mummy, did Chat Realm choose a gauze mummy or a TP mummy? <laughs> so which is better, something awesome? Something that wipes shit. Or a giant pile of poop <laughs> that you the, use. No to... one uses used Is it the thing paper? that saves people's lives <laughs> and is what mummies are actually made of? Or is it the thing you wipe your ass with, Justin? Think hard on this one. <laughs> because, this, by the way, I'm locking in my answer. This argument worked really well for you on Hellhound. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Gauze mummy or toilet paper mummy? Your mummy. I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go with gauze mummy. You're gonna go with gauze. Yeah, gauze mummy. You're both Actually, gonna... wait, 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 wait. Maybe I should game theory this. Maybe. Cause it's like all I'm gonna do is tie this motherfucker. And you're one behind. Wait, and how many more? Um uh, good question. One. That, two, uh, that's a good question. End of sentence. Uh, um <laughs> <laughs> uh you know what? My heart says it's going to be gauze. I'm going to go with gauze. You're both going to go with gauze. Yeah. And you're both correct. Oh! And I went the wrong soundboard. Do, 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 do. 63% to 36% preferred gauze money. Yo, what's better? A hair werewolf or a pee werewolf? <laughs> 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 so, um, and by the way, the P werewolf is uh, uh, George Clinton, and the P werewolf all stars. But do 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 do. Uh, they say the bigger the pain, the bigger the pill, baby. <laughs> I'm the P werewolf. Wait, is that that character that from Werewolf my... with that P on him? <laughs> He comes up to your door, you tell him to go to hell. <laughs> but don't say it to a hell hound because they're dumber than black cats. <laughs> All right, here we go. Brian, you're going to start this one. <laughs> LOL, hair wolf. Dum, 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 da 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 dum, da 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 dum. Sorry. Ghoul, ghouls, or goblins? I mean, it's okay. A good one. I mean, consider. Okay, you know what? Uh, I can't remember the last time that we had a ghoul segment on weird things. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but I do know that fully a third of our content is about goblins, so I'm gonna go goblins. Also, also, I've looked at the demographics, and uh, uh, ghouls as a proxy for girls equals 
twenty percent of our audience. Are you saying our our female listenership are goblins? No, I'm saying our female <laughs> listenership is small enough that that uh, ghouls and goblins is a proxy for guys and girls, uh, or for girls and guys, ghouls, girls, right? Hey, and what? So, it's a video game. It's an old ass. Is this video a well known game. thing? No. No, I'm uh, thinking. No, I am talking. I am talking about your friend of mine, the Crypt Keeper, who we hung out with and got drunk one night. Uh, what? Yeah, he'd, he'd be like <laughs> ghouls and <laughs> goblins. By the way, this story is delving uh, uh, like the intro to that show far into the crypt. If we're going to the one night five years ago that we got drunk in Margate, Florida, with the crypt keeper. Voice I'm just, guy. I'm just you saying. Got, this is not a story. This drunk. is not a bit. This is a real thing that happened. You guys got drunk. Oh, you thought I was making this up? <laughs> I thought this was a really solid bit. Wait, 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 thought, wait, okay, wait, 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 w
You're also going to say slime? What? So wait, you're not going to game theory? Oh, it's, it's, no, it's definitely going to be slime. There's no. no way. Who's a fucking fan of cobwebs, Bonnie? For Halloween? No. Just full stop. I mean, <laughs> Between yeah, slime, there's, there's not a you description. Have a, we have a daughter who watches slime making videos. Have you ever caught her watching a, a, a cobweb making videos? <laughs> How it's made, what? cobwebs. <laughs> Maybe, <laughs> um, but she was embarrassed. The dust Burn. collects uh. over eons in this pattern. <laughs> we try uh. to find a hauntedest house to pull them down. All That's right, it. let's find out. All right, you both answered slime, and both of you are... Oh! 60% picked cobwebs who the fuck oh my god responses. who's winning now i guess i better still jump <laughs> i mean are you win? <laughs> hey, <laughs> I it. nothing's changed <laughs> you're both getting a lot of these wrong uh, well i don't know you two <laughs> a lot being two <laughs> all right uh here we go huh ryan you're gonna start at this one huh when it comes to Thanksgiving, turkey or ham? Oh, ham, mm. ham, ham, ham. Mm. I know the right answer is ham, like the morally right answer, but do I think chat realm will say mm. the morally right answer? Morally? I mean, yeah, no, uh, but, but ham is like the counterculture. Uh, ham is like grunge. It's uh, it's Thanksgiving grunge is what they originally called it. Oh my god! Uh, oh my god. Uh, yeah. uh, listen, listen to that. Uh, morally right said the anti-Semite. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. Oh, because because it's ham. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a thinker. That was a thinker. <laughs> that was a little cauldron. I was just boiling that one up for y'all. <laughs> Daniel J. Newman says, oh, "The president does not pardon a ham, sir." <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. I think it's got to be turkey, even though ham is the superior answer. So you're changing your <coughs> mind. You're saying turkey. Justin, you say turkey or ham. Well, did chat realm say turkey? This is just, just a choice, not necessarily for Halloween or for well, Thanksgiving. I'll, ta I'll, I'll tell you what. I am I certain if I can help you, uh, Justin, because I'm very helpful. Uh, they, like We both know slime is better than cobwebs, but... Some people in the chat were saying, well, well, I figured it was which is more Halloween-ish. So they might have holidays on the brain. So uh, I'll give you the exact wording on this, uh, yeah, how we put it in the doc. Thanksgiving, colon, turkey or ham? Uh, so it is Thanksgiving. I, I, if, it, if it's Thanksgiving, it's got to be turkey. There's no. Wait, wait. Bonnie, you want to answer? You were talking about turkey colons? Or what? No, the no. punctuation mark, the colon. <laughs> two dots. Okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> which would you That's rather? Which would you rather <laughs> eat? Colon. Turkey colon <laughs> or <laughs> ham? <laughs> For the record, Ashley is not left, and she's just sitting here. Staring. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there is only the turkey. You have finger pits. The, the future of fashion. Both the said turkey, and you both are. 72 to 27 percent pick turkey over ham. Though I do prefer ham myself. I, I, me too. But here's the important it's a thing. Easier to eat. I would like to believe that in 10 to 15 more years they're going to do a remake of Apollo 13, because that's a timeless story and it should be told again. <laughs> but they're going to retcon a few fashions in, and everybody at Mission Control is going to have finger pits. <laughs> And they're gonna say, "Sir, they're about to get intoxicated by carbon dioxide. Oh, oh. Failure is not an option." Are they gonna be giggling during it too? I would like to think that that takes on the fashion too. Oh, God! What the fuck is going on? No. Finger oh bits. My God. <laughs> All right. Well. For the, no. Also, for all the audio listeners, what Brian is doing when he keeps saying finger pits is he's just grabbing his beard so it's just like spilling out of his out of his fingers. <laughs> he's like it's like a it's like a bag of rice. He's just pushing. <laughs> he's grabbing a handful of it. And also just saying finger pits as if that's a universally understood thing. 
Because even if you have really long armpit hair, how many people keep cupping it? Like, <laughs> they feel it between their fingers. That would also seem very weird. And also, wouldn't people more think that armpits are like beard hair and not the other way around? And also, why Apollo 13? Like, there's a million different movies with more quotable lines. And listen it's a up. historical movie. It's a period piece. Listen, listen up. Uh, I'm Ed Harris, and uh, you guys need to fit a square peg in a round hole. The man in black. <laughs> yes. Spoiler alert. Whoops. From Westworld? Fairly major spoiler. <laughs> From Westworld? Oh, oh wait. yeah, he is the man in black. It's that he's not the other guy. Spoiler. <laughs> oh, now it's spoiler. <laughs> All right, we've got a last. We've got one last one here. Oh. Hopefully, hopefully we can resolve this. It's one zero. Justin's in the lead. Hey man, this was a lot of fun, but I think we can agree that this was just a comedic uh, conceit, and that nobody's actually going to follow through on shaving their beards, right? You both are going to have to write down your answers for this one. <laughs> Uh, and uh, the the chat realm's choice is Christmas, giving or getting. Christmas, giving or getting. So they're gonna write down their answers. Do you have a pen? Are you uh, Ash, can you help me with a piece of paper and a pen? Here, I got one. If you need one, Brian. No, I got it. I wrote down something. And I could type really fast if I need to change it. Good <laughs> sense. Yeah, probably, should, probably shouldn't have mentioned have that to you. That. Here, look, I'm going to give you a piece of paper and a sharpie. All right, here you go. All right, done. You're going you're gonna to hold that, hold up your computer? Yeah, I will. Okay. Here, here you go. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <clears throat> One more time. It's Christmas. The, the exact prompt was Christmas, colon, the uh, punctuation mark. So the best I could do is tie and go into overtime at this point. Yeah, I mean, we do have an extra, we'll have an overtime question if we need it, but... Uh, giving or getting. Brian's got his answer locked in. Justin, I see. I think he's still writing. Oh, I'm, I, I, all I'm doing is I'm scrambling, trying to think of literally any way out of what the inevitable conclusion of this is. <laughs> it's high stakes. It's a high stakes bit. <sighs> I mean, you, hey, you by the way, while Justin's writing, uh, if, if I, I tweeted out that there was a good chance I would have to shave my beard live on the show. So hopefully we got some new people joining hey. us at twitch.tv uh, 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 slash night attack. Showing. Uh, all right. I am now showing my answer to my wife. Oh, wait, hold on. They're, they're showing, the, showing partners. Showing partners. Here, do you want to talk? Bonnie? I, yeah. Yeah. Hey. Am I supposed to read it? Like, why? No, you? Just, no, no, no. They're, they're consulting. This is a I made the right oh, choice. I, see, what Apparently. he's doing is he's trying to divert responsibility for what happens next, <laughs> so that if you're the one who sign off on it, then you're complicit in the. Are, the... Are, are you more or less mad at me having seen what my final <laughs> answer is? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> All right. All right, Brian, show yours first. Let's use his digital. Brian says, giving for the win is a little overexposed, so it, it's, it does say giving for the win. I can confirm it's uh, Here, I'll, I'll make it visible. There you go. Justin. Also oh, God says God giving. Damn God damn it. So oh, I'm screwed. No. Uh, well, let's, let's find out what the chat realm chose. Show me giving. <laughs> 55 uh, to 44 uh, percent. Uh, 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 uh. Take your, take your beard. <laughs> <laughs> that bit never got released. <laughs> That's a I reference to a track cut. that we recorded that never got released. Shave your beard. We're yes! all gonna release yes! that. Yes! I keep the beard. I keep the beard. I keep the beard. And you keep your wife. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brian. It's just that for help. Oh no, you got the full. Little... No, what is that? That looks terrible. Uh, <laughs> uh, you don't have to do it right now. No, here I'm just. Uh, 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 I knew that this was our ah, planned you stakes, <laughs> so I came. Pre God damn it! God damn it! Oh my! Wow. Well, uh, thank you everybody for submitting. If you want to get 
uh, the first uh, the first word on when we do stuff mm. like this. Uh, make sure you're joining the Discord, nightattack.tv slash Discord. If you've got a game or a bit idea, send it to mail at nightattack.tv. Uh, we have, we're doing the sticker bounty. Uh, if you send in a bit yeah. and we use it on the show, you're gonna get all those little. Justin's hairs gonna send you keyboard. stickers. Uh, oh, you're muted before, right now. Before uh, uh, before we we uh, shave the beard, uh, can we just do uh, 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 the right thing here? Hold on, Brian, <laughs> Hold uh, on. put that down. Put that down. Let's do get Brian full eulogy? screen. Uh, I need the Apollo 13 soundtrack playing behind him while Brian reenacts the entire <laughs> Apollo 13 story with finger pit or face finger pits. <laughs> Oh, I should have been calling them face finger pits. Face, face finger pits. Uh, well, we need we need the Apollo 13 soundtrack in 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 the background. So just Brian, wait for that, mm. and then and then you reenact the entire movie from the beginning of the movie <laughs> to the end of the movie with your finger face pits. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, as you know, Tom Hanks, I've trained real hard for this, and I hope I get to go to the moon. <laughs> Hey, don't forget me, Kevin Bacon. How could I forget about you? I'm Gary Sinise. <laughs> this is great. Keep going, keep going. Right. Oh, what's that? I can't go to the moon? Oh, good golly. I hope they go to the moon <laughs> safely. Let me watch the TV. Wait, it's not on any of these channels. I don't understand what's happening. Uh, uh, NBC, why aren't the moon people on the TV? I'm Gary Sinise. <laughs> oh, well, Mr. Sinise, uh, you don't get ratings, uh, and uh, you're not pulling in numbers. Also, let's listen to Spirit in the Sky in space. <laughs> keep going, keep going. All right, okay. <laughs> oh, well, here we are, Kevin Bacon. That's right, Tom Hanks. <laughs> Just cruising along. Uh, I hope nothing. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, golly, uh, somebody press stop on this ride. Jane, stop this crazy thing. That's a current re relevant reference, yeah. along with my <laughs> finger pit pubes. Another in space, another in space. All right, all right. I'm Ed Harris, and I'm bald, but I have a beard. <laughs> uh, uh, we, you guys all want to let them die just for their awesome fashion faces. Uh, but I won't let you do that. Uh, you got to solve this issue. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, so now the, the spaceship's broken, that, the spaceship's broken. That famous line, that famous line that will be played when Ed Harris dies. You gotta solve this issue. <laughs> um, I'm crying. Um, so they're fixing the shit, they're fixing the shit. All right, all right, they're fixing the shit. All right, all right, all right. All right. <clears throat> all right well, you know what we need is somebody who wanted to go to the moon but didn't get to go, and so he's just simulating a lot of just hanging around. Hello, Ed Harris. It's me, Gary Sinise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. You should simulate what it's like to be in there. Like, you got it, boss. Uh, <clears throat> Kevin Bacon. Is it Bill Paxton in this <laughs> shuttle with us? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I forgot about him, too. <laughs> all right, all right uh, so now they're, re they're back in re-entry. They're back in re-entry. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay, we're breathing oxygen now, boys. Uh, we did it. We went around the moon, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> this is the end. Finn. <laughs> you know. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, you deserve it. Austin, we have pit pubes. <laughs> oh, it's been a while since I've heard one of those. <laughs> Hey, you know how you know how people do this for walking? Houston, you've gotta solve this issue. <laughs> Body, what's going on? Like, so, you know like how, a like, Trump tweet. <laughs> <laughs> so like, the little fingers. The little fingle bit, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, or this for the phone. Yeah, but like Talking to your mic. You Talking to the mic. Oh yeah. When you do the little face pubes. Yeah. It, it's kinda of in the Oh right. you see, you get this is you think I'm doing Moulin Rouge. And I was like, <laughs> 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 oh, this is the sister. Better get the <laughs> gold. <laughs> Oh my god. Right, right, no. 
now I've seen have the movie. Those thick face pubes doing Apollo 13 lines. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. Good, good job, Brian. That was a real tour de force. Oh my God. The fucking epic, amazing, the best. Uh, 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 just just great. Uh, how about this? Uh, uh, what do you say, Brian? You go ahead and get to shaving while I do a little bit of diamond time. All right, but we need a, we need a request. Like This is going to be the first time I've ever had a decent uh, face of hair, and I'm going to ruin it. Uh, I would prefer... To uh, go uh, first with the um, uh, oh, the order that you shave it. Yeah, the what's his name? Ch uh, uh, Chester Arthur uh, uh, or Burnside? Somebody Burnside. Uh, you do a reverse Van Dyke. You do a reverse goatee, and then Max uh, 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 Max uh, Trobot Mulan Fuse. <laughs> <laughs> So you want to do you want to do the mustache and the mutton chops first? Yeah, I'm gonna do that one first. Okay, and I'm so gonna catch. I'm gonna catch issue in France for the fucking chorus. I think you should close your computer or move the computer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's gonna so be you don't gross. get hair in it. Hair it's is... gonna be gross. All right, how about this one? Uh, Diamond Time is where you can shout out your project by heading up over to reddit.com slash r slash diamond club. I need to see myself. All right, go ahead. Sorry. Uh, 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 the first one is BioCow. BioCow writes, hey, chat round, BioCow here. For years, we've had an amazing tool in IRC called Showbot that live viewers can use to submit show titles. Originally written by the awesome iKhalif. Big shout, iKhalif. Uh, since rewritten uh, by the equally awesome T2T2. Support him at Patreon slash T2T2. It has served as well for many years and continues to do so, but only for IRC chat. Diamond Club shows have moved to Twitch, so I made a show bot for Twitch chat. Uh, it mostly It's mostly functional, but I want to do more, including making it easily available for any Diamond Club user with a Twitch channel to use it. Phase one is done with four Twitch channels, including Night Attack and Jury up and running. But if you'd like to help out with future enhancements and general maintenance, I've set up patreon.com slash biocow or yolo420.com slash showbot swag. Consider tossing a buck or two at me. It's more of a more more of a morale booster than anything to continue on this project, uh, and it works out to a penny or less per title submission or vote for some people. So, th thanks for letting me waste your time, BioCow. That's something that I'm kicking a buck to oh immediately. It's so great. He he like whipped it up <laughs> in uh, in a few days and just was like, hey, here's the thing that you do it, and it was super easy to to implement, uh, and it's great because now we can get uh, show titles from both. Uh, IRC and Twitch chat. So thank you so much. And if you if you want it for your own channel, talk to talk to BioCow. All right. So uh, I, I just here's what I just need. <laughs> just cue this up, Brian. Don't shave anymore. <clears throat> uh, I need you to just uh, uh, simulate a gentle gallop. And uh, right after I'm done reading this next Diamond Time, uh, Bryce, I need you to play Guy in a Buffalo. Okay. Okay. So just get that ready. Uh, as I read uh, from uh, Dex Skepskunny. Uh, so one of your listeners brought the diamond time for, to our attention because Brian and Justin went to Scoop Fest 2017. Salt pork, I think that's what they say. And mentioned how much uh, they enjoyed it on the last recording. We have a Kickstarter that has 10 days left. We are trying to bring Ice Cream Social and the guys to Kentucky for a one-day event. We're so very close to our goal, but we're just shy of being totally funded. If you would please bring it up tonight. The link to the Kickstarter is... Uh, of fuckgladwell.com or, and I'm not, oh, churnoutky.com. Either link will work and take you to directly to the Kickstarter. We are basically trying to sell out admission to a magic show with Hillbill, the psychic Hillbilly. Oh, shoot. Recording. I didn't realize that that they're going to be doing that there. Uh, number one, I was already wanting to swing Diamond Club support. Like, you guys got to go see the show because uh, Ice Cream Social is hilarious, uh, but they are yeah. double hilarious in person. Triple hilarious uh, is the Hillbill show that they're going to premiere. Uh, guess what one of the feature acts is going to be? It's a little bit familiar if you've seen my show because I wrote it. Tell you what, uh, I think we both might have something in that show. <gasps> oh. oh, wow. <laughs> there was a lot of bar talk. A lot of bar talk, a lot of lot of texting back and forth with his magic director on. Oh, on, I, I, so uh, so you and RJ are talking. I don't know. I like this polygon beard. I look like a I look like a Pokemon. Full screen. <laughs> <laughs> One day the guy on the buffalo. Hope he don't check. Oh no, he's gonna 
to chase me. Oh no, I better just turn around and chase him back. Cause guess what? I'm on a buffalo. All right, all right, all right. I'm sorry for the audio listeners. I apologize, it's but we so got to clip that shit so we can get it on the fucking Twitter. <laughs> Twitter.com slash Night Attack. I'm fucking dying right now. <laughs> uh, uh, but, but please go ahead. Fuckgladwell.com. Go ahead and kick some money to that because uh, that is great. Uh, and also, uh, uh, Antelion says, hey, Diamond Club, just wanted to chime back to say thank you. I posted in the past about spreading the word. Uh, on our adoption profile, and we are foster parents on the road to adoption. Awesome. Happy Halloween from the newest member, uh, Brianna Justine Bricea Jefferson. <gasps> no! Oh, my God. Wait. Patch. Stop it. No. What just happened? What just happened? Thank Say those words again. Brianna Justine uh, Bricea Jefferson. Holy shit. This baby might be named after the three of us. Oh, my God. I suddenly do not have one bit of regret of naming of naming our daughter uh, Calliope Daphne Brushwood now. <laughs> that's amazing. Oh my God, that's insane. Wow. That's, um, I'm that's glad that's it was a good amazing. episode. Could you imagine if this was a meltdown episode? <laughs> and then we had to read that. <laughs> It's a baby. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Cheaper than oh. adoption. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, they, yeah. Wait, did he know? Like what? Uh, wait. No. Wait, didn't Dell just play that? Oh yeah, no, yeah. that's what we 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 linked together those things. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, hey, listen, now. guys, uh, we got a ton of submissions here. Uh, uh, go ahead and please check them all out at the Weekly Diamond Club or Diamond Time submissions, uh, and you can submit your own projects. Every time the big old green sticky post goes up, uh, you can be a part of Diamond Time. Shout out whatever you want. I look like a, uh, I, I feel like this is a villain Tim Curry played at some point in the 80s that we all forgot about it until just now. Oh, stop it. No, this is a late Mike Myers character. <laughs> <laughs> this is, yeah, this is Mike Myers doing Wolverine. <laughs> It's Maybe. me, the Wolverine. <laughs> no, no, I want to do Stanley. Why, why are you wearing the hair tonight? It's Halloween, it's Bonnie. Halloween, Bonnie. Mm. Have you noticed we're all in costume? <laughs> <laughs> I'm the only one that looks slightly odd to her. <laughs> <laughs> of course, bon, uh, Justin's in his pajamas. And, yeah, Bryce, he's and I'm just wearing my time. normal like witching witch. outfit. <laughs> uh, uh, I all right, uh, uh, Brian, are you going to shave in another configuration here before we uh, I, I don't know. sign Sh off? Should well, we I? also have the movie movie draft minute? If okay, you but uh, uh, here's the question because part of me actually wants to just see how long I can wear this in public. No. It's uh, oh, are you kidding me? Oh, oh gotta go. It's all gotta go. It's nice. all gotta go. Dude, okay. Uh, here's another movie. What he likes, what he likes, is that there's a natural. There are two natural spikes. Yeah, exactly. But those are teeth because now I'm Jaws. Da -da 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 -da. No. 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 Mm. Mm -mm. All right, fine. What uh, What am I doing next? Uh, I guess I'm going to keep those long spikes as long as I can. I'll, I'll shave the mustache. All right, here. So here, go to the Movie Draft Aww. Minute, and when we come back to Brian, he will have no mustache. All right, here we go. Movie Draft Minute! Welcome to Move Drive Minute presented by CosmicRadio.tv for the week of October 30th, 2017. I'm your host, Roberto Viegas. Witness this week on the Movie Draft Minute as I blow your mind with the ability to magically copy the rankings from last week to this. Uh, seriously, no ranking change this week, so let's just get on with the numbers. Team Frog Vans are in sixth place, still waiting for their first film. Team Core Killers are in fifth place with $24.2 million. Team Champions are in fourth place with Jigsaw bringing $18 million, bringing the total to $90. $97.2 million. Team Big and Tall is in third place with $109.5 million. Team Feeling uh, uh. is in second place with Suburbicon bringing in $3.1 million, bringing the total to $137.4 million. And in first place, whopping $163.1 million, it's Team Jury. And that is your Move Drive Minute for the week of October 30th, 2017. Um, all right. <clears throat> so, the movie draft, huh? Uh, uh, penicillin will never catch on. Penicillin is banned in this town. 
Uh, it's penicillin is the devil's medicine. You want to know the funniest thing is, is your goddamn mustache is so blonde, I can't even tell that you shaved it. <laughs> I know. I know. Yeah, it doesn't You and me both. Uh, all right. What's next? Uh, so, oh, I mean, now, so now you, you basically just have mutton chops, right? Yeah, hey, you got to go from. Yep. You got to you gotta have mutton chops. No, I'm saying take out every, take out the center. Take out the bridge. And so you just have. Sideburns and big spikes on the chin. That's a four piece, a four piece beard. Yeah. <laughs> well, wait. So hold on. Explain this to me, because right now I've shaved the mustache. Although you can't take tell. Out, take out this. Take out. Take out everything. So all you have is. Oh, uh, got it. So four, so four, I, I four, look like four I, islands. I, I, I'm the reject uh, uh, wait, that got kicked friend. out of Metallica. And uh, then, all right. And then so forms Pantera. Have, uh, uh, what what do you say? We wrap it up here. This is another reason why you need to be a patron. Uh, uh, so you can get early our after show and pre-show. Brian will continue to shave wacky configurations into the beard, but let's go ahead uh, and uh, 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 wrap 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 things up here. What did we learn today, Justin? Oh, no, oh my God! Well, we learned uh, that that, that I was seriously about to get divorced if I fucking lost that. <laughs> like that is that is the most conservative I've ever played one of our games because they're like that was not a joke. Like there were real fucking stakes right next to me. <laughs> Uh, we learned Brian knows uh, most of Apollo 13 and the people who are in it by heart. <laughs> yes. He very much uh, knows the IMDb page of Apollo 13. <laughs> we learned that uh, uh, Brian and I both got teabagged by AT&T. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'm allergic to be... We'll see you next uh, Tuesday. Die of fire. <laughs> see you next Tuesday. Oh, Justin Robert Young. Every time you go, good night, Brianna. I get so sad. Yeah, good night, Bri Brianna. Brianna just we learned we're, we're parents. Warm glass of Drano. Night attack. 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 Night attack, I love you. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>